Just lost my scarf in some sort of car dealers or whatever it is. Went with Sandy Sclains, uh, ex british trainer, really good friend of mine. Went, he, he went to do some winter tires, left my scarf somewhere, going to Ekaterinburg in Russia. He's freezing there. I don't know how we'll survive. But here <laughs> it's okay though now. Yeah. It's about well, here boys. is Riga yeah. for all the Fight Talk fans listening. Um, what, what are you doing in Riga, first of all? Came for the tournament here last Saturday, six of where are we in October? Yeah, yeah six, six of, of October, October. We had the tournament here. Really nice tournament. Big up to LNK boxing. Great event. Um, good fights. The presentation was phenomenal. Looks like a good matchroom or Warren show. Yeah, the really, production really good value show. was amazing, wasn't production it? Production was really good. Some good fights. Yeah, really enjoyed it. But next to the uh, off to the next one in Ekaterinburg and. Um, Flying to Moscow nine o'clock tonight. Yeah, well, let's so, talk yeah. about that. So we've got um, Najib Mohammadi fighting yeah. in Vladimir Shishkin um, on the World Boxing Super Series undercard. Let's talk about his previous fight on the final, the Usyk Gassiev final. Robbed blind. Everyone seen the fight. Um, Najib was really robbed dry, and I've been promised that this time it will it won't be so biased and he has a big chance to win the fight if Shishkin will allow him and Shishkin is a really good quality operator yeah Shishkin's really a good, good operator I, I rate him more than Chuyanov right now so should be a really really good fight looking forward to it I'll be in the corner hopefully uh, in God's will and hopefully Mohammed will do the business yeah, we'll and will be mandatory for whoever is there at WBA yeah, it will be for the WBA continental super middleweight title was it you started working with Najib just before the the Chudinov the yeah Chudinov fight. just before the Chudinov um, fight yeah he had he was fine at uh, light heavyweight he had two heavy knockout losses yeah. to uh, Gavod's kick Gvozdik, Gvozdik, yeah, excuse which means nail man in Russian. Oh, does it really? Nail. I did not yeah, know that. Hard as nails. <laughs> yeah. um, and then uh, yeah, before that there was Kovalev who he got yeah. knocked out by. Um, he's moved down to super middleweight uh, against Fedor Chudinov. He won nearly every round. He looked fantastic. Maybe lost two rounds out of 12 and um, looked phenomenal. Looked so one-sided. And so people don't know i mean really fedor chudinov is a lovely guy great fighter he had a camp with abel sanchez two months but before he was doing lots of voluntary work for uh boxing and health foundation in russia oh wow and he's actually a sporting advisor for president putin you're joking no i'm not so he's oh. a big well-known figure and being defeated in this manner by Najib Mohammedi wasn't a good look, you see? Yeah. So I don't know, but I kind of understand Russians. They didn't really know what to do. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. after sense. Abel Sanchez's camp, you're not supposed to lose in this manner no. to Najib Mohammedi, but he did. Yeah, well, so Najib was. It's a history now, so hopefully with Shishkin, it will be a different story. Although Shishkin, I really rate Shishkin as well. Yeah. What was the. What's the chances of getting a Chudinov rematch for Najib? I don't know. I'm not sure if Fedor going to be boxing this year. I, I think maybe next year possibly. But if we need Fedor, let yeah. him chase us now. I mean, I'm hoping that Najib going to win. On yeah. Well, although on BoxRec it's got a loss down on Najib's record. Yeah. Everyone sort of, it's kind of helped Najib Mohammadi. It's kind of With almost... his profile, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's improved his profile that he got robbed in a strange way. Um, so that's good. What's the ultimate goal for Najib Mohammadi? What, what do you want to do? At Get to Mandasori position at super middleweight. Yeah. Whoever it is for hopefully Canelo or Rocky <laughs> Fielding or George Groves or whatever. Sirotkin is fighting John Ryder, maybe. Yeah, that's a good fight. Najib will fight one of those guys, whoever wins in that fight on 27th of October at Copper Box Arena. Good, big plans. I mean, great division, open fully. Yeah, brilliant. So let's see what's going to happen on Saturday. Looking forward, not looking forward because Ekaterinburg is freezing, man, I'm telling you. It's Siberia, do you know? Yeah, it looks like an, inter so looks like an interesting place. Um, mm. Is, is uh, the Bantamweight, is he from? Misha Alayan from, yeah, yeah, from, from, from that guy. yeah from that area. So oh, okay, so that makes very sense. tough fight against Tete. I hope Russians understand what they got themselves into. Yeah, is yeah. Tete? Have you got him winning this fight coming up? I don't want to comment because I'm Russian, aren't I? So, yeah, I, so just, I, want I, I want to kind of breathe confidence in. into my compatriots, <laughs> but it will be tough. Excellent. Let's catch Africans in the cold, yeah. in freezing <laughs> weather. Let's let's see if that will help. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do um, you know what I mean? Um, 
on the... Did that to Germans in 1942, not supposed to say that. <laughs> I'm only kidding, guys. <laughs> all a bit of fun, mm -hmm. all a bit of fun. Um, talking about the 168 pound division, obviously we had the Smith Groves fight. Uh, what did you make of that? <coughs> it's a clinical performance from Smith. Francis Smith from the very outset. What did I tell you? Be honest. You no, did. I'm you on said he was gonna... I said it will be KO, correct? Yeah, I said Smith points, but yeah, I yeah. said Smith KO. George Groves is a good fighter, but the composure, technique, and the way he tucked in and very clever punishes you for everything. Smith remind me of Mikey Garcia. Yeah. Trust me. Very, yeah. That's how good Smith is. Yeah. He's a beast. Intelligent, great trainer, great team, great promoter, fantastic level of fighter. I wish him all the best to go. Benavides is gone. Let's see what we can do. Smith Canelo potentially. Great fight. Yeah. Well, um, that looks like it could really happen. Fancy him beating um, Gilberto Ramirez. Yes. The right WBO now. WBO champion. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, that would so, be a great fight. Actually. I'm apologizing. I'm exhausted, knackered, haven't slept properly, lost my scarf, and I'm flying out today, a zombie, yeah. a vegetable. Well, you, you get around the world, don't you? You've gone, well, you had your show in, we haven't even spoke about your show in Bracknell. Uh, we had your show in Bracknell just over a week Saturday, ago. Saturday, and on Monday in the morning, I had to fly out. Do you yeah. Know? Where did I go? Where did you go? Kiev, WBC, WBC convention. convention, sorry, sorry, you see where I am. Yeah, you're all over the place. All the Literally. stars, Sean Potter is a lovely guy, very simple man. Yeah? Very, very approachable, great. Met Eli Sekbak, nice guy, had great conversations, went to the show, saw everyone at the WBC convention, done the business, spoke to people, everyone I needed, I catched up. Kiev, Riga, Moscow, Yekaterinburg, Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> The best city was the last one. Um, so let's talk about the Bracknell show. I yeah. thought it was amazing. I was it was nice, man. I was so exhausted it. and was so nervous. And um, PNL wasn't that great at the, uh, on the day of the show. So uh, a profit loss. I'm talking. Yeah. Sorry. So I kind of completely missed all the excitement and greatness about the show. Apparently, it was good. I haven't seen anything. I was just going chasing between the floors. Well, yeah, it was an unbelievable show. Mm. It was packed with 50-50 fights. It was, yeah. uh, for example, we had Kamil Sokolowski against Naylor Ball. Amazing fight. Crazy risk I'd taken, and obviously, I mean, Naylor didn't swim out. He drowned a little bit in Sokolowski's um, experience and strength, but it's perfect for Naylor. Yeah. You need that Naylor, trust me. You're going to come back hard as nails, Naylor. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. So should be good. Should yeah. be good. A good thing I, I thought about Naylor. He didn't quit. Uh, no, he didn't quit. Good. Massive respect. I've got massive. Um, his stock really risen in my eyes because he got up really quickly, and um, he just got waved off. But he haven't been overwhelmed, or he hasn't been laying on the on the canvas or stuff. Strong guy, and he can hold the punch. Mm. I do believe with right work. He can be in contention eventually. He's a young baby still. Correct? Yeah, what is he, 21? 20, 21, 22. Yeah, he's young he's baby. Very, yeah. And sometimes you need to take the loss, taste the loss to understand what it's like. What the Japanese say, the true warrior, never a winner, or true champion, never a champion without tasting the loss. Something, shit translation, yeah. sorry. Well, something I, I like watching, this, understand the Yeah, no, I was watching something with Michael Bisping, the, the UFC, former UFC yeah. star, and he was saying he didn't really become a, a great fighter until his first loss. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a great example there. Um, Card was amazing. We had Derek Renfrew. Derek Renfrew against. wore a heart, loads of heart, and just he was just make or break. They played Russian roulette in the ring, hadn't they? So, yeah, so and uh, Yeltsin Nevis got the bullet. Yeah, well, you know he's I mean? he's very underrated. Yeltsin Nevis, he's growing a little bit of a coming a bit of a cult hero in the UK. Yeah, he is. He is banana skin, we call it. Yeah. <laughs> Bad comparison. I'm really sorry. What did I say? Yeltsin, forgive me, Bana man. Banana skin, not in a, yeah, yeah, not yeah. a racial term. Um, no, no. Obviously, we no, I didn't even want to say that. Come on. <laughs> You will have to cut that. <laughs> Yeltsin, please forgive me. It's a tired cut Russian that. man, got no political correctness in him whatsoever. <laughs> but you are a banana skin for everything. Yeah. Let's just face it, man. You never know what you're going to get with you. I'm really sorry, but your stock is rising and therefore you won't be matched as uh, intensely as I used to be because people can see that you're dangerous. Yeah. Maybe you need to give me a call. Maybe we need to travel abroad. Yeah. Let's damage some Europeans. Yeah, or Russians. Maybe. Russians or French. I'm not <laughs> sure about that. Yeah, but, but we'll be good, man. Definitely. Uh, well, Awesome. Natalie, I'll call you. Yeah, uh, we had uh, George Lampo sort yeah. of 
grew into a into a George man George Lampard had a performance of his life. Everything went, the scenario went to just so perfect. It's like film. You cannot write the script like that. Yeah. He had this eight and all tough Polish guy. Everyone was shitting themselves. I told them, don't worry, he will deal with them. Round five, six, he will knock him out because I know uh, Conrad, he will give everything in the ring. He will leave, he'll be like an empty cloth mm. by the round five. And that's where George, if he will sustain that, he can just put on and he's gonna get waved off, but I never knew he would be knocked out like this. Spectacular. I'm really proud of George Lampard, proud of his father Terry, the man who believes in his son religiously, incredibly. I've never seen so much dedication. Yeah, they're really nice fans. You got yeah. paid off. That yeah. fight really paid it off for you guys. And I'm looking forward to have you in December, Bill, in yeah. Bracknell again, which I don't want to announce, whatever. I just announced, terrible. Yeah. No, no, I'm only lying, but somewhere that yeah. month. Well, so you're looking mm. to do maybe a show towards the I am, I don't want to say anything about it. Because next year, don't you're, get people. you're thinking about a bracket yeah, show. Okay, maybe. let's we just masquerade it everything. Brilliant, yeah. that's enough. <laughs> yeah, but basically, looking forward to see you on my next show, guys. Mm, yeah. Excellent. Um, and obviously, the main man, Luther Clay, came through again. Luther done very Yama well. Hello. Again, I was slightly disappointed because listening to Luther needs to start believing in his ability, his power, his health from God. You're a really fit man. Stop thinking about this, which round I need to put on, which round I need to rest. You can do all the rounds. Your lactate, um, which is um, acid in your blood or whatever, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. is so low, man. You've been told by my professional people, you're a beast. Start believing in it. Excellent. Well, Start uh, believing in it, man. He could have done that, but Yachyat Lausitsi, great fighter. Yeah, really good fighter. Really good fighter, Very good slick. back foot fighter. Luther learned that. He need to brush up on offense, and um, but overall was great performance. People loved him, and on the back of that, he's now sponsored with Bracknell Football Club. Yes, and he's got all these massages and Physio cryogenic and like that, physios yeah. and everything. My congratulations to you, Luther. Excellent. You see, so we're not investing just for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so Luther, that's he's tw ten and one now. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, I really want to remove that loss. It's bullshit loss. He won the fight. I need to remove that loss. I'm going to call Marina Shepard and I'm going to yeah. tell her. Uh, by the way, the appeal got launched to the Russian Federations and they're looking at it. And I'm going to send it to UK referees to see. Let me tell you, there was a moment in round four or five, Luther cut him with the punch and he was bleeding and he kept looking at the ref, like almost asking to step in and stop it. She stopped him, took him to his corner, they go Vaseline him, clean them up and everything, and then brought You're him joking. back on. Oh, I'm telling you, the footage is there, it's coming mm. in HD, so we can see. <laughs> 4K. Really uh, want to remove that loss because it's not fair. If he would have been lost, if he would have lost square and fair, I don't mind that, that's a learning, but he yeah. didn't lose the fight. He won the fight and everyone knows what was after the show. Hmm. Siesta kicked off, didn't it? Yeah. Kicked off and this, this was crazy there. I can man. only imagine. I um, thought I'm never going to leave the country. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, but uh, Luther, he's sort of slowly going from prospect to contender now. Maybe yeah, he's going to contender. Fights? I mean, I think maybe people like um, Josh Kelly, I'm not name dropping, but I'm serious. Actually, let me tell you this, yeah. Someone offered me a fight with Luis Adolfi. Oh, really? for Luther Clay because Luther called him out and we looked at Luis Adolfi I looked personally and Luis Adolfi is a very slick fidgety grasshopper style of boxer worst opponent for Luther Clay yeah. Luther, is, Luther is a man who comes to fight yeah. and Luis Adolfi is like real all the slicky stuff and I know because he will be a home fighter and then some referees who appreciate that type of connoisseur art of boxing yeah. he might even pinch the win on points and let Luca, Lu, Luther gonna demolish him completely and I said that this fight is too early for Luther okay. not because he can't deal with Adolfi because he needs to learn to deal with them type of fighters well, obviously there's that's been, all there's been a lot of names linked to Luther yeah. uh, McKinson was yeah another one similar guy but where Josh Kelly comes to fight yeah and Conor Ben comes to fight. That's a good opponent for Luther, you know? So you prefer not like... I prefer for Luther to learn. So I will get some slick, boring, back foot fighters, like real, like pam pam scory ones, like 1.2 points, not yeah. damaging fighters, for Luther to learn how to deal with them, how to trap them, uh, cut the ring, and then eat the prey. Yeah, okay. Black so. Panther needs to feed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I need to teach Excellent. him to. I need to teach the cub of Black Panther how to feed himself. Yeah, definitely. Without Russian help. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> who who else is on the card? Uh, obviously, Nick Webb came through. Looks Nick good. Webb done really well. Um, yeah, Andre fantastic. Grand Andre well. Grand done very well. That Nicaraguan was so heavy handed, you remember? Yeah, that was a good for very we were close. Shitting ourselves, I actually had man, draw honestly. On my card. Yeah, but Andre Grand done well. Hopefully, to see him on my next show. Um, man, everyone who's boxed done really well, really. I mean, it was a good card. Uh, Corey Landry was okay. That's that English Spanian Gomez yes. came to fight. Definitely, just yeah, got, he was unlucky. Got, got, cut, got stopped on cut. Sure, was good, but guys, what I recall, but I was so I don't want to say what stressed. I was so busy and aggravated. I was running between the floors, making sure everything is okay. So I missed my own show. But I've got some video footage I can look back. Yeah, that'll, that'll all be in uploaded In 2021, too. I don't yeah. know when that will be. I'll find the time. But no, Andre is sending them through yeah. as we speak. So that'll all be up on the Siesta Boxing YouTube channel very soon. Please, yeah. Um, well, fantastic. Well, uh, I think that's all we've Did we cover to. everything? I okay. think I just it's it hard with you because you've got so much going on. Guys, so much. We'll have to listen, do another interview. When follow you Siesta Boxing on Facebook, on Twitter. It doesn't matter my personal page or the company's page. We're working really hard, investing lots of money for your entertainment, bringing things together. I'm talking to a major television channel at the moment in UK. Hopefully in 2019, I'll be one of the contenders who get a couple of dates. And it's the, if, if I'll get that date, I will clean up, I promise you. They Excellent. don't want to work with anybody else, I'm believe, yeah. believe in me. Well, I personally would love you to know? see your shows on TV, I think, they're, yeah. I think they're good. I thought, I've been to nearly every single one of your shows since yeah. you started doing them me in the too. UK. Me so, too. <laughs> 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 um, but that yeah. was the best one I've been to. Yeah, yeah. I, I tweeted out six six stoppages in on a CS. I don't like show. that, you know me, I don't like that. I like, <laughs> I like competitive fights, I go say, oh, CS to match this, so it's all people uh, banging each other. No, it was 50-50 fights which came Two KO stoppages. That's the art of matchmaking. Sorry, apology. <laughs> I, I was lucky that day. <clears throat> yeah. Excellent. Lucky on that front, not financially. Let me tell you. Yeah. yeah but anyway, that's all, another story. All part of the. Uh, yeah. All part of the business. Yeah. Um, well, Al Siesta, good luck in Russia with. Thank you very much indeed, Ekaterinburg. Here we come. There are some people I need to meet and see my Russian compatriots. Great show. Um, Watch World Boxing Super Series. I never thought I'm going to be advertising them, but I am. <laughs> Great, should be good. Take care, Thank guys. you, Asiesta. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.